Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, my name is Derek. Uh, I'm with uh, Loan Opportunities out of Tulsa, Oklahoma, in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Um, if you've been around for a while, uh, you might know me as DMC or Derek from the old uh, lamp working forum, the melting pot that was ran by Wonka. If you went to any of the original AGIs, I was there. Uh, I've been blowing glass since 2002. Um, on and off, uh, so I probably have about 10 years on the torch in the last 20 years. Um, I also got into uh, welding and welding for aerospace, and I really like to tinker. Uh, when I got back into glass uh, here recently in the last year or so, I finally made the leap and bought a lathe. It was something I always wanted, and uh, I think it was a bad idea, number one, because I really like to tinker and, well, I tinker with my lathe and all my stuff more than I actually blow glass, I feel like sometimes. So, but without further ado, um, I do have a Scientico lathe. Um, it's an India lathe import. And what I've done is I've figured out a very cheap and very effective way to uh, modify your lathe motor for less than 50, 60 bucks. And household stuff that you might have around if you're a tinkerer like me or if you like to build stuff um, that you can really just you really only got to buy two things man okay just get started I'm gonna show you guys what it does uh, just like a regular jog wheel on a Litton or uh, a Heathway or if you pay for the extra option on one of the imports from India or China I don't think it's worth the money because you can like I said do this for 50 bucks so mounted underneath my lathe over here by my hand I have a switch right here on the front I'll show you in a second uh, and all it is is two toggle switches that are bolted together. Um, you could have used the three-way switch. Uh, the three-way switches were way more expensive to buy the switch and to buy a project box or the 3D print a box and have all the fittings and stuff. And I got the kit with the project box, two switches, and wire connectors for 25 bucks. So uh, you'll hear me click the switch. And when I click the switch, you'll see the lathe stops. So the lathe is stopped now. Here is my Harbor Freight modified foot pedal. And when you step on the pedal, it activates the lathe. Now, it does use your current speed, so you will have to adjust your speed with your potentiometer like you normally would, uh, but you can just like this. Now let's move around to the front. So everybody, here's my uh, wonderful Scientico lathe that I got from the wonderful guy known as Chad Wook Glass on Instagram. I uh, actually bought it on 420. Uh, if you find that as comical as we did, uh, let me know because we love it. Um, so down here next to my Mad Hatter manifold, I have this project box I was just talking about. See, and all it is is I have one switch set to on off and the other switch is the opposite, which is off on. And I took two little scrap pieces of aluminum drilled holes in them and the toggle switches, put some M4 fine threads, bolts, and screws in there, and it's just a switch. And as you can see, as soon as I hit the switch, the lathe will activate. Now let's cut the speed up a little bit over here. All right, so now if you see here, I'm on the pedal. So I'm holding the pedal down when I flip the switch and the lathe stays running. Now, with the switch in the down position, and I let off the pedal, lay stops. So I can jog it around, whatever I need to do, and then when I'm ready, I can go back here. And I find this really, really beneficial because with my actual stop-start buttons over here on my lathe, if I hit the stop button, you can watch how slow it is to start. Do you see that? So it's really slow to get from the controller to the motor for me. So sometimes that makes shit a little wonky for me. So I like having this kill switch, instant, instant. And for those of you that were wondering, uh, these India lays don't really, these platforms, man, the cover for the ways and the drive shaft, they are really bulky and crappy. But I kept the two end ones so I can use them for tool stands. And I needed somewhere to put my Bunsen burner, so I got this uh, 
HGH 20 linear rail that goes the length of the back of my uh, lathe, as you can see. It's got three carriages. I, at one point I had put one of Firekist's um, wheels on it, but I still got to modify it a little bit more. But I have another linear rail mounted here with the uh, Bunsen burner. So where I can actually just slide my Bunsen burner to wherever I want on the bench. And then when I don't need it, it's out of the way. Okay guys, what I'm gonna show you here now is uh, where I had it wired in and how I wired it in. So right here in this uh, curly Q is my uh, positive and negative that are coming out of my controller over here where you hook it up on the controller. And so all I did really was I took the red wire right here, as you can see, and I cut it, right? And then I have this piece of wire here, which I had an old fan, like for uh, just like blowing underneath my bench to keep my legs cool and it died. So I cut the power cord off of it. Uh, old school, like speaker wire trick from like 1989. Uh, if you have a little wire like this and you want to use it for a, a positive or negative, or you want to be able to def, uh, tell the difference of which wire is which, if you look real close, you can see one of the one of the wires will have words written on it, and one of them will not. So you can use the words to ID which one's which. All right. So all I did was I took this and spliced it in, uh, and I used my words as my hot coming in and my plain wire as my hot going out. It's very important to remember, in and out. Okay, what we're looking at here is the pedal itself. Here's the screw you take out. When you take the screw out, this is like the pivot point for the pedal to rock. Um, you just unscrew it, make sure you catch the nut, don't drop the nut and lose it, and pop the cover off. And now we're gonna look inside. So now looking inside the uh, foot pedal here, you'll see that there's the plug where you would normally plug something into it and you'll see the toggle switch and everything's connected with blade connectors, which you can just pull off with a pair of needle nose and unhook them. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna unhook uh, the black wire coming from the plug on the left that goes to the switch on the right. It's gonna be the uh, top one and we're gonna unhook that bitch. And then we're also gonna disconnect the white wire connectors as well. And we're gonna just take the white wire and move it over and put it where we just unplugged the black wire. And now the plug is unhooked and we have our black wire as our in and our white wire as our out. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the project box and the toggle switches and wire them up. Um, so it's very important that you know that what we're doing here is one is going to cut on, the other one will cut off. So there will be no overlap of uh, current flow when you flip the switches, okay? So first what we're going to do is we're going to look at our ins and our outs coming from the motor itself. Now if you remember we said that words, the wire with the words was our hot in and the plain wires are hot out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our hot end wire and we're gonna make a little jumper wire. And we're gonna hook it to the off side of one of the switches. And then we're gonna take that green jumper wire and hook it to the off side of the other switch. So that way we have hot current coming in on both sides of the off. So when the switches are off, there's no current going past the switches. So now we're gonna do the same thing that we did with our hot end wire uh, to the switch, to the jumper wire, we're gonna do it with the, uh, the hot out wire and our white wire coming from our pedal. So that way, whatever's leaving is always gonna leave out through this wire right here, okay? And then the next thing we're gonna do is the last wire is gonna be the black wire coming from the pedal and it's gonna go to the other side of uh, that switch, as you can see here. And this is this is the most complicated part. This is it. You guys got this, man. So right here, guys, I'm gonna show you the uh, wiring diagram that I made for the nerds that 
can read a wiring diagram if you want to understand it makes sense in a in a paper flow chart sort of way and here is a screenshot of the amazon uh, part for the project box and the toggle switches and here is the momentary foot pedal from harbor freight uh, like i said the kit for the project box is 24.99 sometimes it'll have a coupon and i was wrong the pedal from harbor freight is only 14.99 guys so get it in guys make it make it happen well everyone i hope you enjoyed that little demo real quick most expensive part was the project box switches it was 24.99 on amazon and then the uh pedal was from harbor freight which was i think it was like 17.99 18.99 so it's a 20 spot man um at harbor freight and if you guys do vac stacks and stuff and you have a vacuum pump um you probably already know about the foot pedal okay so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed the little instructional video if you guys have any questions feel free to reach out to me um however you see fit uh, it's really simple um the the switches are really the complicated part uh i went in pretty good detail for you guys on how to do it um best of luck uh, everybody i hope it works out for you if you guys got any wonderful tips or tricks uh we'd love to see them and i love how to's and like i said at the beginning i love to tinker so give me something to build guys and happy melting may your glass never crack